Hello everyone, welcome, namaste, namaskaram. This is Rabin and welcome to another episode of Techno Travel. Today we are traveling to Parambikulam Tiger Reserve which is in Palaka district of Kerala. The fun fact about Parambikulam is that though it is in Kerala, the entry towards Parambikulam is through Tamil Nadu. Yes, the entry to Parambikulam is through Anamalai Tiger Reserve which is in Polarchi district of Tamil Nadu. From Anamalai check post we bought our ticket and moved towards Parambikulam. From here we had to travel about 30 km to reach Parambikulam through a dense forest. The drive through the forest is an amazing experience except the road conditions but the hairpin bends, lush green forest and the sound of nature overrode all those negatives. After going further, we found Animal Eye Tiger as a recreation center. Just because we were heading towards Parambikulam, we don't really want to stop there. But some little friends forced us to stop here for a while and watch them play. We moved further for some kilometer and finally found us. Welcome to Kerala and here Parambikulam starts. Parambikulam is the second tiger reserve in Kerala after Periyar Tiger Reserve. At the very first look, the ambience at the entrance itself will give you a feel of being inside a dense forest. We were a team of 40 travelers across Kerala traveling together for a nature school program in Parambikul, which will be covering jungle safaris, learning about forests, living within the jungle, and trucking, etc. As we moved further, we were welcomed by peacocks and wild pets. First thing we saw was the Bengali cafe and a spacious parking area for the tourist vehicles. It was noon by then so we all had our lunch from Bengali cafe. I must say the cafe is very clean and hygienic and we had a decent meal from here. Both veg as well as non veg is served here. Next is a jungle safari which costs up to 200 rupees per person. Only traveler vans and bus will be allowed for jungle safari, and each bus will mandatory have a guide in it. There are also huts, cottages and dormitory available here for night stay. I'll be covering about these night stay in my next vlog. Our first spot was Banasri Green Shop, a shop purely filled with natural made decorative items, jungle safari clothes, hats, books and so on.
Before going to the jungle safari, we had a small briefing at the nature study hall by two of the forest officials, where we were acknowledged about the do's and don'ts which we had to follow in the forest. We started our jungle safari. As said by the official, the speciality of Parambiklum forest is that here wild animals roam very freely and they don't even harm humans. They also mentioned that even though Parambiklum is open for 300 days a year for the tourists, they kept the tourism in such a way that it doesn't interfere the wild animals' habitat. And our next stop is Tunna Kadava Dam. We found a group of deers grazing here. Some of them even paused for our camera to click them. We moved further towards the dam viewpoint. It's basically a viewpoint from where we get an aerial view of the dam in the dense forest. Just because I don't have a zoomable camera, I couldn't show you the exact view. But believe me, the view from above is spectacular. Me and my co-travelers got out of the van and clicked some pictures and moved towards Parambikulam town. Parambikulam town is a small complex in between the forest where we can find some basic tea shops and bakeries. As I mentioned before, there are also tree house stay available here which will cost you up to 4000 rupees a night. Now we are taken to another landscape, a completely different landscape as if we were taken to paradise. A landscape with endless grasslands, a calm river nearby and peace all around. I just sat there in the ground and wondered how beautiful this nature is. And just because of that seamless wondering, I missed my chance of bamboo rafting. Bamboo rafting costs up to 500 rupees for 4 person. I continued capturing each second of me being here in this heaven. And yes, this is my co-travelers and our humble guides. I seriously don't feel like leaving this place, but I have to. With all those memories, we continued our journey towards Kannimara, our next destination.
Kannimara is one of the world's largest living teak tree found in Perambikulam. According to local tribe, there is a story behind this tree. When the tree was tried to cut down, blood was spurted out from the place of cut. Since then, the tree was worshipped by the local tribals in Perambikulam as virgin tree. Maybe because of the curiosity, I plucked one leaf from the nearby teak tree. My hand was all red. I firstly misunderstood it as blood, but then get to know that it's a big man coming out of this special type of teak tree growing in Parambikulam. Then I thought for a while and connected it to the story of Kannimara. Then I realized, yes, it was just a story to protect the tree from being cut. We are off to our next trekking to Attamale. Trekking will be off about 8 kilometers and we will be going towards the Kerala Tamil Nadu border.